Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm here all natural today. Um, had a shower this morning, put a little mousse in and edited a video, went to the post office, came back, got a little mail, and I'm gonna open that for you guys today. I am just having a little bit of a slower day today. Yesterday was crazy. Um, <laughs> Like actually crazy. I did so much during the day, which I didn't really vlog any of it, but I was busy. Um, and then it was Cooper's junior prom last night and whoo, like it just was kind of like a whirlwind. I make it sound like I'm going to the prom. No, <laughs> not me. Um, I just take on, I'm an empath, okay? I take on other people's um, emotions very easily. And I don't, I can't, I don't know if this is a real thing or if this is just a Miranda thing, but when I am in a group of people, people rub off on me, even if they don't touch me. I can't explain it, but I get emotionally drained and like also take on other people's like little fears and anxieties. And I, I don't know why I'm a sponge. Okay, I'm a sponge. That is why I soak up all the vibes all around me and it's exhausting. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I binged last night. I binged last night. I screwed up, made a mistake, and I binged and feel a little defeated at the moment. Um, but I'm not going to just decide to give up. I'm going to keep moving forward and trying to feed myself enough, even more than enough right now. Actually, my plan right now is just literally eat anything that's healthy. I don't care the amount that you eat, eat whatever you, amount you want, as long as it is something that you're not gonna regret eating later. I literally, I think last night was the first binge <laughs> I've had in a long time and like I've had moments where it's like, yeah, I probably ate a little too much. Um, vacation, probably ate a little too much, but I don't think I actually binged on vacation at all. Like I binged last night. Like I legitimately um, ate so quickly, I can't even remember everything that I ate. And I literally knew, Miranda, just pray right now because you can ask for help and like, you'll probably get helped right away. And I did pray, but it wasn't sincere. And then I was like, screw it. Um, I'm gonna eat. I, I just, I need to eat. Yeah, I got a little triggered. Something kind of happened last night and got a little um, feelings. And I don't think I acknowledged my feelings enough. And then I was just trying to push him down with food. So there, that's me in a nutshell. Um, <laughs> thanks for stopping by, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I am growing, I am learning, and I'm trying to become more self-aware. Um, feelings are really hard for me. That is not something I'm good at, and yet I take on everyone's feelings. So it's like, why, why am I doing this to myself? I don't like this. Like, stop, stop now. Um, but I can't and I, I, I need to learn to turn it off. I just don't know how to do it, guys. I don't know. Even if somebody texts me and it's rude or I get um, messages or hate online, which is like a daily thing, sometimes I'm tough and it just kind of like, rolls on down my back and I don't really get bothered by it, but sometimes I'm greatly bothered by it and I don't know how to make it always not hurt. I don't know. I don't know. It's a mood thing. You guys, I have so many moods and the one that I have most often is really a bitch. <laughs> but I know I'm not alone in this whole thing. Um, I'm so grateful that I'm going through this health journey with you guys, with my friends. And even though I've kind of cut back on sharing all of my information, um, about what's going on with my health journey, um, I still feel connected to you guys and I still know, I still feel the support totally. And every 
motivational comment or um, message of keep it up, you're doing okay, you're doing good, you know, like that really does help me. Um, and it's not that I'm trying to not talk about it at all. It's just that I'm just trying to like live normal. <laughs> I really am. And I, for the last like seven months, I had lived in a way that it's like, there's a deadline. You, the beginning of the month, the day one of July, you're weighing in, you know what I mean? But I'm not doing that. I haven't weighed in since before Florida, since we, before two weeks before we went on vacation or something like that. So, um, yeah, I, I took away that deadline so I don't have to be in a rush. I don't have to like force myself to get out to walk. I can walk and want to, you know what I mean? I don't have to like, like skip a meal or like say, oh, whatever, I had a big snack, it's okay, I don't need supper, you know what I mean? Um, which honestly, I, I skipped a meal yesterday and I think that also led to what happened yesterday after we got home from prom. Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm still screwed up. I don't, I, I don't have it all together. These people leave comments like, oh yeah, like, thanks for the motivation, like, you're telling me how awful it is and all you do is complain about yourself and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you guys, I I never claimed to be perfect. In fact, I'm pretty sure I was like, you guys, I am a wreck. Because <laughs> I try to keep it real. I don't try to like put on this persona of like, yes, like new year, new me. And I got it going on. We've got it going on for a year. I don't got it going on for years. Okay. Uh, some days I feel like I can conquer the world. And then some days I wake up terrified and I don't even want to leave my damn bed. Okay. Like I, I am a roller coaster. Okay. <laughs> I really am. And sometimes we get stuck at the top and we're just dangling and we don't know when the roller coaster is going to take off again. I, I am just here going through this journey and sharing some of it, a lot of it, maybe not all of it online. Um, I don't have it figured out. So if I gave off that impression, I am really sorry, but I'm only human. And I bleed when I fall down. I really, <laughs> I eat a lot of pizza and, <laughs> and sometimes I eat more than one ice cream sandwich in a sitting. And sometimes I eat Smarties that have been left over from Winnie's lunch on the counter. And, um, it's been there for like a week calling my name. And then I just down the entire dish at once. Yeah, that's, yeah. I'm only human, guys. <laughs> and to be totally and completely brutally honest, it would be so much easier and more fun for me to decide, I'm done. I don't want to do this weight loss journey anymore. I don't care. I'm fat and I like it. I don't want to change that. I'm going to be fat for life, blah, blah, blah. I've done that before. I've done that here on YouTube. I did it last year. Okay, like that is my all or nothing mentality. I'm either doing it super hard and <laughs> that's what she said and like hating my life because I am like restricting and making myself work out too hard and being so hard on myself if I eat a chocolate chip or I am literally eating the entire bag of chocolate chips and don't give a shit. You know, like I am all or nothing all the time and I... I can't keep doing that because that's making me sick and that's keeping me sick. And as much as I want to just throw in the towel and say, I am just living my life this summer. I don't care. I'm going to drink what I want to drink. I'm going to eat when I want to eat. I'm going to shop when I want to shop. Those are all three things that make me feel good, but they're not always good for me. So I am not going to let myself give up. I don't want to give up ever again because I will stay sick and I will get sicker. 36 years old, you guys, I'm gonna be 37 on July 14th. That's like almost here. I don't know when this happened. I don't know when this happened. How did I, I'm almost 40. I don't feel like it. I, I don't feel like I'm almost 40. And honestly, 
there's a quote that somebody told me a few weeks ago and it has literally stuck with me. Do not let your addiction rob you. Do not let your addiction rob you from living the life you want because that's what these addictions are doing to me. They're taking away my joy and making me rely on those addictions to feel anything. And that's not what I want. That is not what I want. When I look back and I think, holy shit, this right here, trying hard, failing, trying hard again, failing, trying hard, quitting, has been my life since I was a teenager and I'm almost 40. I gotta get it together, guys. I really do, I can't quit again. And yes, Boober is here. He's on the couch eating his lunch and watching his favorite show. And it's actually almost time for the bus. I'm about 45 minutes out from the kids coming home from school. Um, so I'm gonna open a few packages and um, then we're gonna go get the bus. That's, that's the plan for today. Honestly, I don't feel like I can conquer the world today. And I kind of feel like in my line of work, um, your job goes so much better when you think you can conquer the world. When you have that confidence and you feel good and you're in a good headspace, it's, it's really good for my job. But when you're feeling defeated and you're mad at yourself, even though you're trying to give yourself grace, okay, um, I, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> like, I'm not in the mood for that either. I'm really not. <laughs> not like you asked. But um, yeah, it's just the days that I feel like this. I want to just let myself feel like this. Feelings are hard for me. And I feel like because they're hard for me, I need to practice them better. I need to work on them. And that's not by turning them off. That's by feeling them, right? So I'm kind of trying to just like let myself have today. Eat all the healthy food. Absolutely. Take some Advil because that sugar, you're going to need it because you're going to hit the cravings really hard this afternoon because of what you did last night. I know the drill. Okay. We've been here before. Um, I want to not overload my plate with I'm not talking about food now, but that is the same analogy. Um, I don't want to give myself too much to do. I don't want to make myself work too hard. I want to be content in my space and safe. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to not go there today. Um, anyways, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff I can't talk about on here right now. Um, but I'm okay. I just had a little bit of a blip, um, but I'm okay. I just, I'm just gonna be today, okay? We're not gonna move any mountains. All right, we're not gonna climb any hills, okay? We're just alive today, okay? And the fact that I'm smiling, I mean, I'm already so much better off than I was a year ago. I really am. So I'm learning, I'm growing. All of those things that are kind of annoying to read um, in an Instagram post. Yeah, I'm all of those annoying things and I'm working on me and that's it. <laughs> that's it, guys. I'm going to open some packages. Um, Skylar's friend Charlie is here right now. They are outside playing basketball and she's so adorable. She watches the vlogs. I love her so much. She's so sweet. Um, okay, so I'm opening this package from, I think this says from Judy. So I feel that there's a card. These right here, see this green? See this purple? Those are my wedding colors. Yep, that's what they were. Let's see. Oh, first three words. Who wants to guess what they are? <sighs> I already feel better. <laughs> I really do. Oh man, am I going to cry today? Please don't cry today, right? Please. First three words are you inspire me. Whew. Okay. By the light you share, by the joy you give, by the strong and thoughtful way you live, by the faith you keep, by your wisdom too. Always so inspired by you. Okay. 
my eyes are getting watery. I didn't mean this to happen. <sighs> okay, Miranda, saw this at Disney and thought of you. I hope you love it. Thank you for all the videos. Oh, there, there's a gift from Disney. Uh, okay. Um, thank you for all the videos and for sharing your beautiful family with me. Take care. I love you from Judy. Thank you, Judy. Holy shit. <laughs> Ooh, girl. Thank you for that card that, uh, that touched me. <clears throat> oh, my heck. You guys, look at this box. <sighs> okay, like, okay, this was meant to happen today. This is going to pick me right up off the ground. Oh, my heck, it's stunning. Judy. Oh, I could kiss you right on your face. Oh, my heck. <laughs> oh, my heck. Ooh. It's Minnie and Mickey, and it says, made for each other. Oh, you guys. Curtis hasn't been here the last couple days, and what's going on is not anything to do with us at all, or the kids even. Um, but I haven't even talked to him about stuff, and I try to not, like, talk about my shit because... He's got so much to deal with, so I try to, like, not bug him with my stuff. If I can handle it, which clearly, can I? I don't know. <laughs> I try to protect him from feeling too much, okay? That's, that's true love, okay? I really do love him. Oh, my heck, Judy, you literally made my day. Thank you so much for this. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. I am going to wear this like literally all the time. Oh, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Judy. I love you. Your friendship means the world to me. And thank you so much for thinking of me and for putting your feelings into a little box and sending it with some motivational words. <sighs> I love you. Thank you so much. I would put that on right now, but I want to take a picture of it before um, before I put it on. So I'm definitely going to put it on. Guys, I'm Disney all the time. One of my friends sent me this shirt. Send me. Sorry, that didn't come out right. <clears throat> One of my friends sent me this shirt, and I can't believe that it fits me so nicely. Um, it's... It's okay, Miranda. You're going to be fine, okay? <laughs> um, this is from Amazon, but it's for me. And normally when we order something on Amazon, it's got Curtis's name on it because he's the Amazon person. Um, the boss of Amazon, if you want. Like, if I want something, I just send him the link. It's wonderful. Um, he orders it. It's a done deal. And he's like... He's my wingman. He totally is. He's my ride or die. And he loves me and I love him. And we are friggin' good. Like, we are really good. And you guys, we're going camping this weekend at the beach. Camping at the beach. I have this friggin' tear that won't get out of my eyelashes. Um, Yeah, and it's gonna be nice, okay? It's gonna be nice. I am so freaking excited. I really am. So um, likely after this video, you're going to see some hauls. I'm trying to cut into this box, you guys. I'm dangerous. Um, I'm, you know, causing bodily harm to myself, possibly trying to not. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be nice this weekend. And likely what you're going to see on my channel for the next couple days is hauls <laughs> of me getting ready to go camping. Um, we should really do an updated trailer tour. So maybe we'll do that too before we go. Um, we did do a trailer tour last year, but it'd be good to have an updated tour. And um, you guys could like help me pack up for camping. And then when I get home from camping, you will get 
a weekend of camping in one cute little vlog and we will start the camping playlist of 2022. I don't know if there will be a camping playlist of 2023. I don't know. I really don't. We're going to see how this summer goes. Um, we're not, we, we paid way too much for the trailer and we will never get the money back if we sell it. So like if we sell it now, we're still going to be paying money on the trailer and we're not going to get what we put out and we're still paying for it, but we don't have it anymore. So I don't think it makes sense to get rid of it. Um, but we're not sure about the future. I really wanted to camp with my kids and create those memories because they're so special. Um, but Skylar has a job now and um, they're both playing baseball. Skylar and Cooper are both playing baseball. And when we bought the trailer, we said, okay, we bought the trailer. It was like the end of a, the end of a summer. And um, we were still playing baseball, but we said, we're not playing baseball next year. We're just camping. And then COVID happened after that. So um, yeah, busy schedules and camping don't really mesh well together. So we'll see. I think it makes sense to go like a couple times in the summer, but uh, you guys... Curtis doesn't understand that it is so much work. It is so much work to go camping. And we were going to go camping last weekend, but we didn't because it was supposed to rain basically every day. Um, and I said, I would so much rather just stay home and not have to do all that extra work. And we're just home. Like it makes a big difference when you actually have a weekend off and you're not packing up to go camping and you're not camping and setting up and then tearing everything down and coming back home and cleaning everything up and putting everything away. If you're not doing that and you have the weekend off and you just are home and you don't have to set anything up and you don't have to clean anything up, you don't have to set anything up at the campsite and you don't have to clean anything up when you get back home. You just have every day off together and that is what you saw on the weekend. Curtis and I, I literally had a day off. I didn't film anything on one day. And it was beautiful and it was so fun. And we went for motorbike rides and we had so much family time and I didn't have to film or edit or anything. And it was so marvelous. And we didn't have to pack anything up, clean anything up. It just was easy. Easy street. What is this from? Easy Street, Annie, which version? I don't remember, but it's from Annie and I pretty much love all of the versions. Paw Patrol's driving me nuts, oh my heck. Is this what it is? Well, it's probably what it is because it's, you guys, oh my heck, no way. It's a mug warmer? <laughs> oh my heck, there's a little note, but look, it's like stuck way in the box here. Let me see. Who is it from? From Susan. Oh, it's a birthday gift. Happy birthday, Miranda. Hope you have an amazing day. Just a little something that might help you while you're editing. Girl, absolutely. From Susan. Susan, we love you so much. You are so thoughtful. And literally, this is, girl, the people in your life must love you to bits because literally this is so what I need you guys not only is it a mug but a mug warmer I can literally plug this in at the table and I won't have to get up and reheat my coffee over and over and over and over which I literally do every single day every single day because now I'm editing in the mornings, which is so much better for me. I don't know why I didn't do this three years ago, but that is the way that I'm doing it now. So I'm drinking coffee. I'm having my breakfast. I'm wide awake. I'm not falling asleep while I'm editing like I always used to. You guys, Susan, and there's a little button, little Mickey button. This is amazing. This is amazing. What a nice gift. And look at this cute little mug. Look, it's the front and it's the back. Give me the front. Let's see the back. Okay, this is so cute. And it's red. It's got Mickey's name on it. I love it. Susan, you are so thoughtful. 
I love you. I hope you have a great day. And this is such a nice early birthday gift. So nice. Curtis just started shopping for me for my birthday. And I'm a little excited about that because he's like, are we going to do limits this year for birthday? Are we just going to have fun this year for birthday? I was like, you can do whatever you want, babe. You, you just, you do whatever you want and I'll just do whatever I want when it's your birthday. And he's like, I don't like the sounds of that. <laughs> you guys, I think I know what this is. Okay. It's from my friend, Joanne. Joanne, you naughty little girl. I think I know what this is because she already sent me four of these and they are, well, you can't really see them because they're little. They're right there lined up. And I think these are two more perhaps because it's packaged the exact same way that the other ones were. I'm gonna try to be so oh, careful. Don't want to break them. They're very delicate, but you guys, they are so well made. They are very intricate. They're little shoes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they're little Disney shoes and each shoe is different in like in the shoe, but it's also a different Disney princess on each shoe. And this might complete the set. I don't even know how many there are. Somebody told me. It's a limited edition set from the QVC or something like that. Oh, no, where is it from? Not Publishers Clearinghouse. Uh, dang it, what is it called? It's one of those things you get flyers for it. Uh, the Bradford Exchange, okay, that's what it is. That's the company and they're like extremely fancy they are. You guys, I don't know who we have. Who do we have? Who do we have? Oh my heck. It's, I just got like a little butterfly in my stomach. Oh, and it's a wedge. And wedges are my favorite. Look at her. Oh, Ariel. Look at her. And Sebastian and Flounder. See what I mean? I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if it will focus. But like when you get small things like this and you look up close, they're always wonky. Like something's wrong, they're missing an eye. Um, their hair looks weird. Like it's really hard to get the right um, details, but they do it right, you guys. Who is this by? Okay, it's just by the Bradford Exchange in Disney. This is called the Once Upon a Slipper Ornament Collection. But what I've done, because I, I, they're basically like a Christmas tree ornament, right? What I've done is I just undo the ties. I've saved all the ties as well, but I take off the little tie and I set it down. And I love it. I love it. Joanne, oh my heck, you are so sweet. You do not have to do this. Now I have six. <laughs> Oh, this is such a big deal, you guys. I love these so much. Joanne, 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 it's Aurora. Oh my heck, a Briar Rose Dreamer. Look, it's got the fairies. Oh my heck. And the dress is pink, but it was beautiful as blue as well. Oh my heck, if you know, you know, guys. Look at this beautiful shoe. Joanne, thank you so much. I have goosebumps, holy frig. This is awesome. This is so sweet. I can't wait to put them up with their friends. Okay, I already snuck a peek at this one. This is a package from my friend Yvette and she is actually from my area and it's for Winnie. She wrote a little note. That's why I wanted to take a peek because um, I, I feel like I need to be careful when stuff is sent to my kids because, you know, people are mean and I don't want that to get on my kids at all. So I check to make sure like every good mom should do. Um, and she sent us these books for Winnie to read this summer. You guys, I am so excited and it is about that time. <laughs> if you know, you know, um, I gotta go buy all the fidgets to start that treasure box. So maybe that will be one of the hauls you'll see very soon. Okay, thank you Yvette so much. I'll give those to Winnie when she gets here. And now I'm gonna try on 
this necklace. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here's Charlie. Look what one of my friends sent me. That is so Isn't pretty. Isn't that so Wait, pretty? Like, what's this one? That is yeah, so yeah, if you flip it, it's got like little sequins there. <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? Yes. Oh my heck, I'm so excited. I'm gonna try it on right now. Dropping these crazy kids off at the ice cream store. And now we're gonna go back home and get the bus. And I'm gonna put on my necklace because they wanted to leave like right away. So I was like, I'll drive you. And then I'll go back in time for the bus. But you guys, my neck, it needs some loving. Okay, and it's coming courtesy of Judy. Hi. <laughs> okay, I got it on, but I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, you guys. You guys. Judy. This is stunning. This is stunning. Look at, oh, I love it. Oh, thank you so much. There's an extra link in it as well, so it can be tighter, but I think I like it like this. Okay, time for the bus. Uh, qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que tu as là? Un uh, plan. Ooh. Mais son ma c'est un plan. On a besoin de l'eau. Ooh. Oui, moi aussi. Regarde. Okay. On a beaucoup de l'eau. Ne mange oh. pas. <laughs> mais on a un des plans que tu peux manger. Oui, mais pas ça. Non! <laughs> Go for it, guys. I made oh. these for a little treat. You want to try one? Pondre as a good? baby. Oui? It's good to the baby. Pick whichever one you want. Don't eat the freaking green on it. That's a pretty. I put salt on it too because it makes the chocolate taste even better. What do you guys think? I ate that. <laughs> Don't eat that for Est-ce que c'est bon, Addy? Oui? Your mouth's full, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think, Boober Man? Good little treat? Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Whoever discovered chocolate and strawberry combos, you deserve a Nobel Prize. So, so good. He ate your finger? Get my back. Oh, yeah. Ah, that feels so good. Thank you. It's a massager. <laughs> I've been putting it on my I'll knee be because my knee is so Mom, bad. Can I put it on, yeah, sure. On her yeah. back. How did you want it? Does it feel weird? How did you want it? <laughs> 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 Mom, I'm gonna do it on your butt. I'm gonna do it on your butt. No! You guys, look how beautiful. Oh my heck, I am so in love. Merci, Yvette. And he flops outside on, and hops on his bike, flop, flopping. Mm -hmm. And 
kicks off. Mm -hmm. He pedaled so fast that soon he was going about a million miles an hour. Good job! <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to say good night. We are going to bed right now. Actually, no, in a few minutes. But we're ready for bed. We love you, and we will see you back here tomorrow. Bye, <laughs> Bye guys.